Welcome to beautiful Beverly Hills, California. And this is what I like about LA. One second you can be in the worst area in the world, skid row, and one second later you be right here in the nicest area, Beverly Hills, California. But it looks like it's a little bit too dark to film, so I gotta change that with a little snap. Well, it's much brighter now, but it's still totally overcast today here in Beverly Hills. I wish all the fathers a happy Father's Day out there. Without you, we would not be here today. Happy Father's Day. Today is a car show here. It's called Concours de Elegance. They have hundreds of cars here. As you know already, I do not know much about cars, but I love to look around the ambience of all the people showing up, the Beverly Hills housewives and all the other things that are going on. And of course, I love looking at the classics cars and all the other stuff. I love it. I don't even know where to start. This way, this way, cars everywhere. And of course, the police is watching everybody. And look who we got here, Jay Leno. Thank you very much, appreciate it. <laughs> I feel sorry for him. He really cannot go. He wants to look at the cars, but everybody wants to take pictures with him. He doesn't really show any interest in taking pictures, but I can understand. Where are the Beverly Hills housewives? There's a lot of stuff going on this way, but when you look on this side, this is the Beverly Wiltshire Hotel. This is where they film Pretty Woman. There's a lot of action going on. This is actually where Vivian dropped off Richard Gere, right here. The Koenig's Egg. Looks kind of like a Batman sign on there. See, how can you not appreciate something like this to look at? I mean, that probably won't fit in there but it's nice. Let's walk in the hotel where they filmed Pretty Woman. It changed probably everything. But the elevators are right here on this side. Let's check it out. The elevator where Richard Gere went all the way up. Vivian was sitting right here. And you remember, I took my mom up to the penthouse once and she was so nervous it's unreal how some people have so much money and some people have zero money in the land of the free they say you should dream big how big should you dream about a Bentley Koenigsegg a Porsche or maybe a Aston Martin which one people always say you become the people you hang out with if you hang out with rich people you become rich Nice. The car is not bad either. Is that Bridget Nielsen? Even though the whole event is free, they still have an area where only people can go with the money. There's like a little thing here. 
the GIV cannot go in, but it's enough for me to look around here. Uh-uh, he wants to take a picture with her. Is that a real gold chain? Zipping on the champagne. I'm glad I'm not drinking. Green Ferrari. 2 Too bad I don't know anything about it, but it's a Ferrari. The GIV is not the VIP today. They won't let me in. Ah, okay. Look at this, how he gets into this car. <laughs> This is why I don't want to car like this, man. You gotta be short and skinny. Where can you drive a car like this? An orange Royce Royce. Loving it. I like those big cars where you sit like you're sitting in a sofa. I'm supposed to work today, but I think this is way more fun to look around than working on the beach. Is she a Beverly Hills housewife? I don't know. Cool jacket. Yeah, she's gonna buy the Austin Martin here. I keep running in her. Yeah, go sit inside. It's gonna be nice and comfortable. Let me put the window down for you. What do you think? You like it? You gotta push this button here. Let me explain to you how it works. How to open the door and close the door. You gotta push this button, then you open the door, and then you actually close the door. I like your outfit. Thank you, sir. Right on Via Rodeo, I got the nice German Porsche. Don't let the holes fool you in his pants. This guy has money. For sure. She got the perfect skirt for that car here. She's gonna grow up and gonna be a race car driver here. This place is booming. Lime green. Awesome. Porsche design. Porsche car. Porsche car. Look at the steak and the lobster. Mm, mm, mm. That looked pretty good. Oh, the Mars Pichette. I have no idea what kind of brand that is. This is the camera you need to get some good shots. Royce Royce jacket. The dress looks like Vivian's dress from Pretty Woman. Right? Where else can you see a fire engine like this? An original fire engine from Beverly Hills. Wow. From 1929. Uh-oh, she's about to play tennis with her heels on. There we go, nice. I'm not sure if you can buy that Ferrari or it's just for display. Seat? Never heard that brand before. Red Bull Formula One car is going to be driving in Vegas pretty soon. Look at those tires here. There's nothing on it. Slick. I'm not sure. Is this the three million dollar Bugatti? Came all the way from Montana. Another Bugatti. Most of those cars you've seen in Germany when you grew up, Porsche Targa. This little Porsche I've seen many times in Germany back then. 2006 Ford GT.
Pretty small inside too. Ricardo seats, no. But it got air condition. It says La Bestini Batmobile, 1917. It's a Batmobile, he says. I talked to the owner. Look how nice this looks. Wow, and how big it is. As Miss Batman is in here. Look at all this. Wow. It's over 100 years old, the car. You can really tell from the back that that is a Batmobile. 1966 Batmobile. It's probably from the TV show. I think the original is at the Peterson Museum right now. Got the bad phone. Emergency. This is the one that came out of that bat cave. Shooting flames in the back. 1959 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. It kind of looks like Christine. Christine is a rat. And this one, I like those fins in the back. And those tail lights, look at this. They look like rockets. Nice. Even this looks good, the reflection of the palm trees. Beautiful, Mike, right? Yes, yes, beautiful. Come up forward, Mike. Shout out to my two German friends, Daniel and Michael. This is a 1965 Ford Mustang. They would love that GT350. I know you guys would love to ride in this car on the Pacific Coast Highway. Wow. Look at this stick shift in there. Nineteen sixty five Shelby Cobra. Really nice red. I love that color too. Let me show you how fleeting Ford GT two thousand twenty two supercar. I never seen the car driving on the street before. Ah, prego, fantastico, Fiat Jolly, 1959, extravaganza. Look at you guys, man, you look sharp. All right. Nice. Look at the interior on this Bentley. Yeah, they had those yellow lights. And of course, if you have a Bentley, your kid has to have a Bentley too. Or like maybe a McLaren, whatever you want, they all have it. Teaching the kids early to have a Mercedes. Wow, look at this, the doors go open like that. And if you don't like this lamp before your kid, just get one of those. Yeah, dad is going to get the G-Wagon for you. <laughs> and look what the GIV spotted right here at the toy cars. All three DeLorean time machines from Back to the Future. One, two, and three. What? They even got the bigger version of the time machine. Wow, check out that color. 1966 Chevrolet Corvette. I love that blue. Nice. 1965 Pontiac Bonneville convertible clean straight as an arrow that's all I can say I don't know much about cars I told you before there's people that are going crazy right now that would love to be here a green Lamborghini there we go got her own umbrella here for the shade The Ferrari F40. While training, but they have tires with treads on it that they switch. 
but the more the more the rubber I didn't know it's gonna be that busy here today. The only thing I don't like is when I film a car and people run in front of me. But it's I cannot just wait for people. There's always people coming, so I'm relaxed on that one now. Now I'm just gonna film and people run in front of me, that's okay. 1964 Lincoln Continental. Look how long this thing is right here. And then you got this copyright music in the background, makes me crazy too. So I gotta talk a lot so I'm not gonna get blocked. 1932 Ford High Boy American Graffiti, that's what it reminds me of. It's not always necessary to talk on your videos. You just gotta enjoy sometimes the beauty of the cars. Look at all those little cars, hand built. VW Bug, nice. This Cadillac here. Well, this Cadillac won some trophies. 1980, nice blue license plate. Cadillac Eldorado convertible. Wow, so clean. Let's check out the engine here, how the engine looks like. Golden engine. It's almost as clean as my apartment. They got so many different Cadillacs. Plenty of space. Three people in the front, three people in the back, easily. I'm not really a Ferrari guy because it's really small to sit in, but this one looks really, really nice. I, I kind of like that one a lot. 1961 Volkswagen bus. Wow, look at the shape it is in. Brand new. Everything looks so nice. Look how many windows it has. With the open roof. Here's the pimped out version of a VW bus. Look how low it is. I don't know if it's gonna have hydraulics to push it up, I don't know. Maserati. Taking a picture or video? 1964 Jaguar Coupe. That is really Beverly Hills here. Look at this. Yeah. They're models. <laughs> His fit doesn't drip. Hello, you catch my drift? Awesome Cadillac. Wax on, wax off. Oh, he don't really care, he just touches it. It's all good. The owner of this store, Bijon, actually passed away. I think his son got it now. 
This car is here every single day parked in front of his door. It's a Rolls Royce convertible. He even got his own little meter here, but he still has to feed it every day. If the Rolls Royce is not here, he normally has a yellow Bentley too. I mean, this one is really comfortable, really big seats. Nice. You got the embroidery in there. Plenty of security guys here. And look who is coming here. The one and only Louis and his appropriate clothing like always. Wow, Route 66. You got a hot rod on there. Look at him. He's hey. ready for the car show. Hey, Mike, don't fill my hot rod. <laughs> Suki. G rated. He's thirsty already, look. Look, they even have a cat here. Two of them in there. He's so thirsty. Look at this. Louis is an attraction here. Everybody wants to take a picture with him. There's so much to film. I don't think I can make it to the beach today. Here we got the Ferrari with 12 cylinders. Wow, look at her hair here, wow. I always like those little doom buggies, but look at it, got the gas tank in the front. That's not too good if he hits another car. England, which is the 1962 AC8. Basically, this is a car that has a BMW engine. If you look at this engine, this is from the 1930s from Germany. This is an aero engine. A BMW, it was in a BMW 328. And what happened was after the war, Bristol went over to Germany and in reparations, they got to take this engine and they built this engine up until 1962. When they stopped building the engine, this car company said, hey, what's going on? We haven't got an engine. All of a sudden, this big cool yank walks into the office and says, hey, I got an engine for you. What did that car become? The Cobra, the most famous car in the world. Right. Started with this. Thank you. Noch ein deutscher Porsche mit der Nummer 8 hier. And I think this is a Camaro. There's seal right there. No, I'm just joking. A nice Mercury. Look how small the windows are. Almost looks like the car Stallone had in Cobra. Oh, he's showing the baby the car. That's what you're gonna drive when you're gonna be 18. A nice Ferrari. Louis, you can have a McLaren or you can have the new Corvette. Which one are you gonna get? I take Malcolm McLaren. That one's two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Mine's one thousand. One hundred thousand. That's what I meant. I don't know why it says VIP 0007. This is the Trans Am from Smokey and the Bandit, and uh, I can see Burt Reynolds sitting in that car right here. That's right. Look at this. Nice. Look at the paint job on this Cadillac here. Woo-hoo! Pinstripes. Chinism and Nizzle. Kind of reminds me of Snoop Dogg for some reason or like Tupac. I think that's the car Stallone drove in Cobra, the Mercury. I love the long windows. Look how small they are. Nice. Another Ford Coupe. We got like a 
I think they call those slingshots. I walk around here sometimes at two in the morning, there's nobody here. You know how weird that is? Now all those people are here. It looks like a giraffe. Look at this. Does it get as big as this one? And then you got uh, little babies. 55, so they probably be about 30. Well, my friends, that was it. Life here from Beverly Hills. I had a great time. It was way better than I expected. Great cars, great show. I had a blast. If you also had a blast watching this video, you might want to give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to the German in Venice. I see you guys later. You hear that car? Tschüssing!